Well, after winning several of the nine titles up for grabs in the 2016-2017 season by both the men and women's teams, 2017 was a bit of a letdown as only the under-17s were able to retain their titles along with the women's successfully defending their regional Super 50 crown. But Suraj Raghunath told Nasira Mohammed that the TNT Red Force will be under a new coach this season with a lot of talent coming through to carry on the good work started under Gus Logie. Despite winning only two titles last season, the outlook for the upcoming regional cricket season is positive, with great expectations and vibrancy. The national senior team, the season starts 26th of October, and uh, we are hoping to build on the momentum we finished last year with uh, the last season. Uh, the guys won under Marlon Richards uh, the two away games uh, against Barbados, a place we had won for I think over 12 years and then um, the last match again of the islands. So we are hoping to build on that momentum. It's a young team. Uh, possibly we may have some of our senior players uh, back into the free, um, you know, based on their availability as well. So anticipation-wise, we are expecting that we're going to have a very good season. Gus Logie was replaced as head coach of the senior men's Red Force outfit after three years. His replacement, Kelvin Williams, is no stranger as he served as Gus's assistant and will be looking to build on the progress that Logie was able to achieve. Under Gus Logie, I thought we did pretty good because we move in for the tournament progressively up the table and uh, we, we are heading in the right direction. We are hoping that with Kelvin Williams, now that Gus Logie is no longer with us, he has decided to move on, um, that Kelvin will be able to continue with his technical staff that growth process as far as moving up the table is concerned. But the most exciting aspect of this season is the bunch of young players who have stepped forward with their talent and will give the selectors a tough time to pick a team. And the coaches and technical staff are in place to work with them to ensure that they are performing and that when the opportunities arise that they take those opportunities with both hands. We've seen Tion Repsa come th um, coming through. He made 100 in one of the games that he played. Amir Jangu, a very exciting talent as well. And, uh, you know, these are just two of the guys that we are speaking about. There are others as well. There's young Cooper, you know, and um, then we have lower levels. You have, you know, five, six guys on the West Indies youth team whom we expect great things from. The regional four-day tournament is expected to bowl off on October 26th. And local players are hard at work trying to get ready for another assault on the major titles on offer. This morning. Nasira Mohammed, Sea Sports.